Hey, I was just thinking of something you should keep in mind uh, when you're managing your money. It's um, the difference between being penny smart and dollar foolish and being penny foolish and dollar smart. You know, ideally, you would want to be like penny smart and dollar smart. Like when I say penny and dollars, like pennies like small expenses and dollar is very big expenses. For example, pennies like your groceries and dollars is your house, you know? Like the trick is that pennies added little by little all the time can really become big at the end. But some people, you know, they are like, okay, I'm gonna be smart on the pennies. So they're gonna save, save, save little stuff there and there. And then when it comes to big expenses for like vacation or buying a house, stuff like that, they're like, uh, if they do whatever and they are not smart on the big dollars. So um, I think if you have to choose, because it's very hard to, trick, to, to keep track on both. If you have to choose, I would recommend to be penny foolish and dollar smart. Because I have seen some people that were, for example, into some trading investment. I'm thinking of someone trade stock trading. And that person was like, when, when that person was doing groceries, that person would spend like, like five minutes spending the price of the weight of the cheese to pay the, the least amount per kilogram, you know? But he would do stock trading and bet a thousand and then lose half of it in a day, you know? I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very good to have the discipline to be spending smart, but it's on the side, all these, your savings are like killed because you're doing like some foolish stuff on the dollars, on the big dollars. That, 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 that doesn't make any sense, you know? All those things, I think I, it wasn't rich that poor dad that I've read that there is this guy who was saying that uh, he was like super bragging about how he knew uh, what was the gas, the cheapest gas provider in his region and he, and he was saving that amount per year. But on the side, he was subscribing to like crazy, crazy golf subscription and he was like losing so much money with that and spending money in clubs and stuff like that. So maybe some people do it just for the discipline and not spending too much on pennies. And I understand that. But the ultimate goal, I, I assume, to do to do your money management between pain smart and dollar smart is to really at the end manage your money better, you know? So you need to keep that in mind because if you're like trying to save pennies but you're not watching your big investments, uh, like for example, you're like trying to not be like, oh yeah, like I, I should not buy Netflix subscription because it's $10 a month and stuff like that. But on the side, you have a lot of money sitting on your account and you're not investing it, which would be like dollar foolish. That, that's bad, you know, so maybe let it go, relax your mind when it comes to uh, little pennies. Like, it's okay if, if you got to be a bit lazy on the management for pennies, like yeah, take a Netflix subscription, okay, stuff like that. But put your energy that you save on investing your money, thinking about the big plan. Do you want to buy a house? Should you not? If you want to start a business, stuff like that, you know, so stop wasting your time and energy and focus in saving pennies and transfer that energy to saving dollars. Let me know in the comment and share with the community what is something uh, that you have been spending a lot of time to and energy and focus to save a little, you know, and that was not really worth it. And another thing that you could have think a bit, a bit, a bit more wisely, you know, and you would have saved a lot of money. It was much more important. Let me know.